Six little dragons are rising in China, breathing fire across artificial intelligence, robotics, gaming, and even the human brain. The unofficial yet widely adopted nickname refers to a sex tuplet of high-tech startups in Hangzhou, a city of more than 12 million that's rapidly becoming the next Chinese tech powerhouse. Amid an international technological arms race, they're quickly embedding themselves into daily lives in the mainland and the West. The Hangzhou Little Dragon with the strongest brand recognition outside China is DeepSeek. The AI startup propelled the six little dragons into the global spotlight in early 2025 with its open-source large language model that matched chat GPT-level reasoning while operating at a fraction of the cost. Without a doubt, this is a monumental shift in AI. It is just as impressive as people say it is. Officially known as Hangzhou DeepSeek Artificial Intelligence Basic Research Company, the startup was launched in July 2023 as a spin-off from the AI-driven hedge fund High Flyer. Liang Wangfeng, who founded the fund back in 2016, serves as CEO of both entities. Throughout 2024 and 2025, DeepSeek rolled out a succession of increasingly powerful and efficient models. Estimates for DeepSeek's valuation are all over the place, ranging from $1 to $150 billion because it's backed by Highflyer's $7 billion hedge fund. There's no indication that DeepSeek plans to pursue an initial public offering. With an estimated 150 to 200 employees, the company says its focus now is research and development. Its AI is already entrenching itself in the robotics world. Sherry Automobile, China's largest exporter of passenger vehicles, has integrated deep seek models to power the conversational capabilities of the humanoid robots it developed in collaboration with Imoga Robotics. The lifelike android named Mornini has reportedly been deployed for sales support at Sherry dealerships across China and Malaysia. Beyond customer service, the robot has been pitched for roles like tax accountant and live streamer. According to Chinese state media, Sherry has delivered around 220 Mornini units for dealerships. Pricing remains undisclosed. DeepSeek's AI has also made its way into commercial appliances through brand partnerships with juggernaut manufacturers like Hire, Hisense, and TCL. The West's first major exposure to the Six Little Dragons was in August 2024, when Game Science released its breakout role-playing game, Black Myth Wukong. Founded in 2014 by former Tencent employees, the game studio was virtually unknown outside the mainland until its surprising blockbuster. Black Myth had a groundswell of support that started in 2020 when a gameplay trailer went viral on Chinese social media. It sold more than 25 million copies so far, 10 million of which were in the first three days. The sales have reportedly generated nearly a billion dollars for game science. Inspired by the 16th century novel Journey to the West, the RPG puts players in control of the destined one, a monkey warrior. Game Science is busy developing a follow-up that's inspired by the folklore figure Zhang Kui, known as a ghost hunter in Chinese mythology. Development is still in its very early stages. Meanwhile, another rising Hangzhou dragon wants to bring the thrill of video game action into physical reality. The leading Chinese robotics firm Unitree is reportedly seeking a valuation of up to 50 billion yuan, or $7 billion, in its upcoming initial public offering. The startup recently confirmed its IPO plans and said required paperwork will be submitted before the end of 2025. Launched in 2016 by hardware engineer Wang Xingxing, Unitree burst into the affordable robotics market in 2021 with its Go One quadruped. Priced under $3,000, the Go One was marketed as an affordable alternative to research-grade robotic dogs like Boston Dynamics' $75,000 spot. Its successor, the Go Two, currently sells for as low as $1,600.
Unitree also offers higher-end quadrupeds for industrial use cases, priced starting around 90 grand. The startup also disrupted the humanoid robotics market with its short humanoid, the G1, which launched in May 2024 with an entry price of $16,000. Unitree has since introduced an even cheaper bipedal robot, the R1, which starts at $5,900. The company's flagship full-sized humanoid robot is the H1, which is priced starting around $90,000, targeting research labs, advanced developers, and enterprise customers. However, Unitree is preparing to launch a next-gen full-sized humanoid that could potentially expand access. According to Unitree, quadrupedal robots account for 65% of its revenue, with 80% of those sales for research, education, and consumer applications. The remaining 20% is for industrial uses like inspections and firefighting. Unitree's RoboDogs have appeared with lethal mods and footage from the People's Liberation Army and other militaries, including the U.S. and Ukraine. However, Unitree insists all military modifications are from third parties and not endorsed by the company. On the eve of China's Victory Day military parade in Beijing, Unitree shared a statement on social media emphasizing its role as a civilian technology company. The robotics firm is trying to quell fears about its robots to avoid export restrictions that could hurt its value as it goes public. According to reports, Unitree's IPO is expected to take place on Shanghai's star market, a tech-focused board of the Shanghai Stock Exchange, similar to NASDAQ. Humanoid robots generate 30% of its revenue, mostly for research and education applications. Components like sensors, actuators, controllers, and other modular parts make up around 5% of its sales. Unitree has spent much of 2025 training its humanoid robots for mixed martial arts style fighting, which has already caught the attention of UFC President Dana White. White tried out one of the kickboxing robots before a recent UFC fight night in Shanghai. The battling robots have also become a staple at major AI and robotics conferences and have popped up at underground matches in San Francisco. As Unitree aggressively drives down prices, it's increasingly marketing to the hobbyist market. They're following a playbook similar to what Shenzhen-based DJI used to dominate the consumer drone market during its emergence. On the current trajectory, pricing for Unitree's starter humanoids could dip into the hundreds. If interest in humanoid boxing continues to rise, they could become a fixture at hobbyist stores that sell RC vehicles and drones. While Unitree aims for mass appeal, another Hangzhou Dragon is scaling production of industrial-grade legged machines. Spun out of Zhejiang University in 2017, Deep Robotics just shared this drone footage to announce its achieved mass production and delivery of its full suite of quadrupedal robots. The startup recently secured nearly $70 million in a financing round to boost R&D into its quadrupeds, humanoids, and other next-gen machines. According to Dealroom, the company has an enterprise value of about $1.3 billion. Deep Robotics offers entry robodogs for under $3,000, but its emphasis is industrial use cases like power inspections, firefighting, mining, and logistics. Its flagship quadruped is the X30, which is priced starting around $65,000. The robot is built for harsh environments and can withstand temperatures as low as 20 below to 55 degrees Celsius or minus 67 to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been deployed alongside lower-end X20 models, which are priced starting around $30,000 throughout China at places like power stations and factories. In collaboration with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Deep Robotics outfitted one of its higher-end robots with an antelope costume to spy on real endangered herds 4,500 meters above sea level in the Tibetan wilderness. The startup focuses heavily on all-terrain mobility so its robots can climb stairs, navigate rubble, and operate in dangerous places where wheeled machines and humans struggle. Meanwhile, 
Another Hangzhou little dragon is working to make mind-controllable robots accessible to the masses. Launched in 2015 by Han Bi Chung when he was a PhD student at Harvard, Brain Co. develops tech that extends human capabilities, including brainwave headbands for focus, bionic hands for amputees, and robotic hands for research and industry. Brain Co. is reportedly in talks to raise $100 million in a pre-IPO financing round. The startup is most known for its brainwave sensing headbands, which generated headlines in 2019 when they were tested on Chinese students to monitor their attention spans. The headbands raised alarms over privacy, but Brainco stressed that the devices only tracked focus levels and were meant as learning aids, not surveillance tools. Brainco claims it's since shipped more than 100,000 units, which are priced starting around $300 and are used for focus training, meditation, and research. Rounding out the six little dragons is ManyCore, which has grown from a home design software startup into the world's largest AI-powered spatial design platform. Founded in 2011, ManyCore is actively working toward going public on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, as it cements itself as China's answer to Autodesk. Its main platform, Kujiali, has broadened access to CAD technology, far beyond professional architects and engineers. Its customers range from small furniture makers and freelance interior designers to large real estate developers and multinational retailers. Minicore has built one of the world's largest libraries of 3D design assets. Its proprietary models like Spatial LM and Spatial Gen automatically generate and interpret complex 3D environments. Designers, decorators, and even homeowners use the platform to experiment with layouts, furniture, lighting, and other elements to iterate quickly. Businesses convert the high-fidelity renderings from marketing materials and to translate designs into production-ready instructions. ManyCore boasts its end-to-end -end pipeline that connects design, visualization, and production to cut delays. Through Kuham, its international brand, it already serves users in more than 200 countries. Meanwhile, the tech hub of Shenzhen is flooding the market with AI-powered toys as China rides the runaway success of Labubu. For more on that, check the related video.